Hi everyone, welcome back on the channel. Horizon Forbidden West is here and we gotta talk like a lot. So yeah, this video is going to be long. This is not just gonna be like an uh, random FSR3 tutorial like where you paste the mod and play. It will be more than that. Like we're gonna discuss what problem this game got, what is the uh, solution we can use and what game developers can do and what you can do to optimize your experience to this so yeah it will gonna be a little long longer than expected so yeah i will try to keep it as short as possible without like uh, skipping any important information so yeah let's begin so first things first that msi afterburner will be compatible with this game with or without the mod <coughs> and this game is currently in very unstable state right now uh and also the game is uh yeah it's graphic heavy uh i agree but uh, it's a little bit unoptimized too uh, sometimes it's stuttering here and there uh, so right now i have not activated the mod and i am playing on 1080p uh with uh, dlss set on quality no frame gestion right now because the mod is not installed and the graphic setting is set on like a mixture of some medium and high here as you can see some is on medium some on high and motion blur is turned off so right now the mod is not installed and i'm getting around like 60 to 70 fps also this game got some memory leak issue like where your uh, graphics card vram gets filled up for no reason and the performance decreases like as you can right now see that my fps is currently at 65 so if i run the game like 10 minutes straight uh, the vram will fill up <clears throat> and my performance will degrade and the fps will drop to like from 60 65 to like uh, near 50 so yeah <clears throat> hope there will be an update uh, and now uh, about the game's uh, crashing issue fix so some users have reported that this game is crashing when trying to like minimize and like mm, you're pressing the windows key minimize the game the game is crashing but uh, as you can see my game is not crashed so to fix that issue uh, you will be need to use the display and you will be need to use the only full screen mode do not use the exclusive full screen if you switch the exclusive full screen uh, the game will crash when you try to minimize and like alt tab and everything so yeah do this uh, use this full screen option it will use your maximum refresh rate of your monitor but uh, yeah it won't crash anymore so this is the crashing issue fix uh, now let uh, get back to the fsr3 files which we have got so today we got uh, three files like one is forbidden west uh, fsr3 taa one forbidden west fsr3 dlss one uh, forbidden west fsr3 for rtx only so what is the difference between three zips so the first zip uh, which you are seeing here uh, this will be compatible uh, no not this one first this one this will be compatible only for the rtx series and you can use any upscaler and any uh, what do you say uh, any anti-aliasing like ta dla and the frame generation will work uh, almost correctly uh, so the second one the forbidden west 3 ta uh, in this one i have modified the fsr to like uh, the frame generation will work on any uh, upscaler but only the TAA feels the smoothest rest of the setting doesn't feel smooth I will show that and another one is for the DLSS like where you can use the DLSS to get the maximum uh, smoothness out of the game uh, frame generation will be compatible with all three zips uh, like according to your GPU like if you have RTX you can use any zip but if you have GTX and AMD you will be able to use only these two zips so yeah i will show everything like which thing i am talking about so yeah this video will be long i am telling you once again so yeah first uh for windows fsr3 rtx zip so yeah we're gonna extract it to the desktop nothing extra needed with this rtx mod you just gonna copy the files and paste it to the installation directory of forbidden west here where the forbidden west.ex is located now we're gonna paste it and just we're gonna, just gonna run the game from the desktop shortcut no need to do any tweak here okay we are back in the game mm, the frame generation is not yet activated so that's why the fps is still around the same 50 60 so i'm gonna go to the display and right now it's on dlss 
we just gonna go to the DLS frame generation and hit apply come back to the game and now yeah now you are getting around 95 to 100 but this is not uh, very smooth I have, if I have to say like 110 fps should be way smoother than this so this is the most like uh, what do you say most common bug with all three zips uh, like where the smoothness is not that great so what you need to do is you need to go to setting display uh, you need to turn off the dlss and you need to turn on the taa and after that frame generation turn on and then hit apply so this will be only for the rtx zip and when you come back to the game the fps will be a little bit lower like uh, 70 to 80 uh, but the smoothness will be uh, very big like uh, it's uh, like what do you say it's original 80 fps input like now like you can feel the smoothness but in the dlss option you cannot feel the smoothness that was a bit uh, what do you say laggy or uh, sluggish type so yeah it's also uh, usable with the dla also so you can also use the dla and the frame generation together dla will give you the best uh, like quality and with that also uh, fps boost is working but uh, that will cut your fps by a little margin uh, so yeah do try to use the taa with frame generation that is the best for this zip like this this will give you a little bit more fps and uh, will feel a little bit more smooth so this is the rtx zip uh, you can also use uh, other upscalers also with this zip like uh, fsr and xcss but they don't feel smooth i don't know if you can see it but uh, fsr is uh, like uh, very sluggish type uh, so yeah do not use fsr in this game fsr in this game is almost as close to dead uh, but you can use the xcss xcss will give you a little bit more uh, smoothness but uh, still it's like a little bit uh, bloody and everything so yeah after this one we're gonna try the dlss zip so to do that we're gonna just extract the zip copy everything inside you can also use the dlss if you can't see the uh, dlss in game but no need to paste that right now that's optional so we're gonna copy everything then we're gonna go to the installation directory but first we will need to clean the previous files so yeah let's clean the previous files okay we are done now we're gonna paste it and we're gonna run the game so dlss one will need a little bit tweaking but taa one does not require any tweak so yeah we're gonna run the game or just we're gonna tweak the fsr2 fsr3 config a little bit so open the game close the cmd window config will appear here uh, and after that we're just gonna make the uh, fake nvidia gpu to true and nothing else is needed now we're gonna click file click on save uh, close the file and run the game this will show you a little bit uh, error uh, not error a uh, warning that your graphics card is now 4090 because just to tweak the dlss uh, the setting what do you say the fsr to fsr3 config that's why Okay, we are back in the game again. FPS is still around 50. So I'm just gonna go to setting, press play. And from this one is not smooth. Like TA and frame generation was smoother in earlier mode. But this one not smooth and also the frame rate is not boosting. So yeah, this mod is now uh, only compatible with DLSS. Like we're gonna switch to DLSS, hit apply and come back to the game. And yeah, now it's smooth. Like the FPS is now around 100 so this is uh, like uh, by far the highest fps uh, in terms of this um, both mod uh, but uh, there is a little bit uh, what do you say shimmeriness around the edges because it's actually not dlss it is fsr3 so what you can do is uh, if you have uh, applied some sharpness in game you can reduce that but right now i have not added any sharpness but still it looks a little bit sharp sharp so, so yeah that's just a personal test but uh, in this one you will be able to use the dlss but if you use the other upscaler like uh, fsr your hood will get stuck like if you escape here there your hood will get stuck uh, to your ui 
so yeah no other app scaler is compatible with this dlss one so yeah you will need to fix that too now i have mastered how to fix that so that's why i'm being able to fix that even without seeing the ui <laughs> there uh, and yeah this is the dlss one now we are gonna show you the taa one so yeah we're just gonna quit it don't use any other than dlss with this specific mode so yeah after that uh, we're just gonna use the what is the fsr one uh, sorry the taa one now we're gonna use the taa one so we're gonna copy same everything so in this ta1 you will need to copy everything but uh, not the uh, nvgx file so you will need to copy the fsr to fs3 config uh, so do not skip the fsr to fs3 config because it has this has been modified to like uh, use the um, ta to smoothen the game out so yeah we're just gonna open the file and remove the previous ones now we're gonna paste that ta zip now after testing just gonna run the game no need to do any tweak in the taa one you just need to do the tweak in the dlss one okay we are back in the game and fps is boosting but it is not as smooth as ta wait i will show you like uh, right now it's on dlss quality frame generation is on fps is showing you like uh 90 to 100 but it's not as smooth but if you like switch to ta on this mod and hit the frame generation the fps will be a little bit lower like uh, 80 to 90 yeah but the smoothness is like super so this is the most stable i slash like the most responsive uh, out of all three like if you use this mod with ta you might get a little low fps but the smoothness will be like massive yeah, you can feel the smoothness like it's the real frame generation so but both of this mod one thing is good that in both three mods uh, there is no hood flicker as you can see there is no hood flicker in any one of those so yeah that's a good thing but uh, yeah do take this mod with a bit of uh, grain of salt as every major youtuber said uh, like you will want to try and see which one works best for you like this one works best for me but that does not mean that uh, this same one will work best for you so yeah do try every mod uh, if you have an rtx gpu and if you have an amd or uh, gtx you can try both these zips and try to switch up scalar like which one works also this mod got one bug which i will show you like if you look at the sky and look at the top left corner of my screen you can see there is a uh, artifact in the screen that is not because of any cpu gpu under clock overvolt that is because of the mod so yeah but most of the time you won't be looking at the sky you will be fighting like here and everything so yeah this is the most uh, stable mod out of all these three mm, so you can use this one also uh, i want to talk to you about uh, like uh, this game has a bug like where you were uh, sprinting and quickly moving your camera here and there and alloy like jumps uh, this way and this way sometimes so yeah that's a little bug also this game is very unstable sometimes crashing issue but uh, to fix that you can use the borderless as i have told you earlier and yeah do trial and error and tell me which one works best for you and now i will end the video and yeah it's been a it's a very long video uh, but i tried to like speak things as clearly as i can but it will take uh, it should have like uh, it had to take like uh, this much time to make everything crystal clear and make you guys understand so yeah hope this video will help you uh, if it helps you do subscribe to the channel uh, you can comment down below if you face any kind of issue mm, the, you can join the discord for the mods and everything and yeah mm, i will see you guys in the next one now cheers happy gaming